What is up my ninjas? I'm Strident and I am back with the figure review. Uh, this time we're back in the G.I. Joe realm of things and we're taking a look at the 2016 Joe Con exclusive Air Commandos throwback Sky Creeper. That's a lot. Um, Sky Creeper, Sky, wow, Screeper. Sky Creeper comes from the uh, Air Commandos line from back in the day. I want to say that was sometime in the 90s. Um, I This was past my time. Yeah, it was 91. This was well past my time when it comes to uh, G.I. Joe. I wasn't really uh, collecting uh, G.I. Joe's hardcore when these the original versions of these guys came out. And I was kind of surprised to see him make it in a uh, convention, you know, as a convention exclusive, because I'm like, you know, was he that popular? But apparently he is, you know, apparently I'm, I'm, I'm an odd man out when it comes to popularity of certain characters, but this was a request from ODC, that's me. He brought this up when he came to visit and go to the convention with me, the toy and game convention or expo that we went to in September. And uh, I figured, you know, hey, why not? It's another exclusive. You guys like the exclusive, so I'll talk about it. This will be a really objective review because I have no connection to this figure whatsoever. So uh, you guys know the drill. You want a comprehensive, straightforward, no BS look at this figure. You've come to the right place. Get yourself something to drink, something to eat. Sit back and relax. And here we go. Alright, Sky Creeper. That's a pretty simple sculpt. Like I said before, I'm not a huge fan of the character, but the sculpt is real simple. You see pieces reused from Retaliation Snake Eyes, uh, from, uh, I want to say Resolute Snake Eyes, and I could be wrong about that because I didn't take off his web gear because this isn't my copy, so I figured I wouldn't do all that. But uh, off the bat, the paint is horrendous. You can cl clearly see the coverage is just not there green poking through on his skin on his neck the black is chipping off on the yellow because they didn't prime it um the legs are a mess um oof but uh you know it's a decent it's a decent upgrade to what we already had and i'll show you that in just a second i mean it really does design wise look like the original figure and you know they got to get props for that at least so if you are a fan of that figure then you know this is a good update now let's look at the old one you can see almost every details there they just didn't put the holster on the new one in the same direction on the chest as with the old one um, Cobra, the Cobra Air Force symbol is there that works Cobra Air Corps I guess you would say or Air Commandos um, the helmet, the head sculpt is really well done. It's just poorly painted. And that kind of sucks. Because you would wish that, you know, something clearly that, that they put a lot of skill and time into would work. Um, this you saw in Retaliation, uh, Snake Eyes, and uh, Beachhead. You know, it works. Sculpted details all over the place. They did a good job with that. This, this is what makes me not like the, the you know, these convention figures and the subscription service figures is just the poor paint apps and how all the sculpt has gone to waste because they only use like two or three colors, you know? And that's sad. I mean, look at that. There's customs. There's tons of customs that look better than that. And this was actually sold for a premium. No thank you. Um, and then the bow-leggedness. Like, wow, you couldn't fix that and straighten his legs up or something? Mm -mm, no thank you. I'm just not a fan. Like I said, this is not the level of quality that, you know, 25, 35 bucks should be bringing you when you buy this figure. And on the secondary market, I'm sure he goes for some decent prices. I'm going to check right now. And of course, as you can see, it's from 40 on the low end to 60. There were a couple biddings that started or uh, auctions that started at about 29.99, but that's a lot. But anyway, you can see his sculpting is okay, but the paint is terrible. Let's move on. 
So, he doesn't come with very much in the uh, way of accessories. Just what you see here. Um, everything is a throwback to what he had in the original version. Here is his file card. I'm going to let this linger a little bit so you guys can read it if you want to. You can pause it if you need more time. But, uh, leader of the Cobra Adders. That's kind of cool. I just, I don't feel like the color scheme screams Cobra, you know. But, uh, he's got the two submachine guns you've seen from the Baroness and Beachhead and many of the other uh, G.I. Joe uh, Retaliation and uh, uh, Rise of Cobra figures. They look good. I mean, he can move around with them. There's no issues there. So, you know, that looks good. Um, and I guess flying around, if you want to lay down some fire, you need that. Now for the backpack. This backpack is tiny. And uh, it came from a, uh, one of the ninjas, I think it was. No, no, no. It came from Retaliation Snake Eyes. And not much was done to it since then for it to kind of have like a new, uh, you know, new life. It's pretty much just the same thing as it was. You've got the Cobra Air Corps sticker, which is cool. Um, or, I'm sorry, it's a tampo of some sort, you know. Um, it still has the same exact functionality. It doesn't do anything else, um, you know, special. But, uh, yeah, it's just very basic. And considering that the original one came with a big kind of a production and it could actually fly, it's kind of strange that they didn't really go all the way and I'm gonna go into that a little bit more when I get into the gimmick part because it's directly related to what I'm saying right now the clips and the handles work perfectly there's no issues there um, the pegs work really well everything else is you know it's in place I'm surprised that uh, actually I shouldn't be surprised because usually with these kind of things they don't really go all out they don't really try to go further and here we're in the gimmick section so let me talk about the gimmick so the original came with a glider as you can see the glider dwarfs the backpack we got this time the glider had a little gun on the very top it had the foil on the back for the you know the, the wind to go through to allow for you know loops and all that stuff and better control it had the cool uh, spine with the clamp to hold them in and the pegs for his feet is real simple, real pick up and play kind of stuff. And if you're even feeling a little bit more, uh, you know, in depth, you can put the feet in the pegs into the feet. So, I mean, it was a really, it was a well thought out thing, you know. All the omitting, all this important stuff, it's just strange to me. You know, the fact that all these details were just overlooked. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense at all. Strange that all this character is here and then they didn't bother recreating that with the version that they gave you guys i mean granted they they didn't go for the cobra air Corps symbol on this they had the original standard cobra symbol but i mean if i was comparing the two it feels like you got less i mean the gun's well detailed and granted this is the 90s so we have the neon stuff there still is a level of character and personality that goes with this that's just not present on the, the new one you know and like I said earlier this is me speaking from an unbiased place you know granted I was not collecting figures of uh, Joe's in the 90s but they easily could have just redone this you know make the pegs so that they fit or nix the pegs all together and just package them together so the kids can you know big kids like us could be throwing these guys around having them fly and instead they chose not to so you know this just adds to another reason why like I said I don't like the subscription service I don't like a lot of the convention exclusives when they're done by this team they're just whack now let's compare so I wanted to compare him to other Cobras with you know outlandish color schemes or seemingly outlandish color schemes and uh, you can see he fits with these kind of characters you know I have a heat viper right here a review is coming for that one. I've got Alley Viper and Saw Viper, which, you know, I was trying to go for the more, you know, the brighter colors. He fits alongside them, but for some reason with the green on him, he just screams G.I. Joe. I mean, I don't know what else to say about him, but, you know, maybe that's what made people like him. He has the same aesthetics as the Joe team does. I don't know. Not for me.
problems, issues, and nitpicks. Um, the paint. The paint is the biggest issue. If you look at uh, the way that the paint is chipping off of his hands, the way it's caked up, the colors don't match from the hand to the wrist. Um, the whole time I was posing and paint was just chipping off. I was like, are you kidding me? I figured I would catch that because that way, you know, no one could c complain about it. But, like, why'd you paint over the joints if they're the right color? And then the legs, man. It's just just shoddy workmanship, you know? There's, there's like, black caked up on parts. And, I mean, look at that. Just poor show, man. Poor show. Now for the bottom line. Sky Creeper is a cool figure if you have some kind of nostalgic investment in this figure. Other than that, there really isn't enough here to warrant spending the 30, 40, you know, $60 that people want to sell this guy for on the secondary market. He's just not worth it. I mean, I honestly don't think any figure that isn't immensely rare is worth more than 20 bucks when it comes to Joe's. 20 bucks, I feel, is like, it's the max for some of these good figures, especially like the Pursuit of Cobra figures and, you know, a very select few uh, 25th anniversary figures. But this guy is not one of them. And this is not to say that, like, if you like him, don't go after him. If you feel that he's worth that money, pay it, fine. But from an objective standpoint, just looking at the figure as he is, no, he's just not worth it. Shoddy paint, uh, very generic accessories. Um, the design, the, th the theme to the design is just not that great. So overall, I feel like, you know, he's a easy pass for those of us who want quality figures. So with that being said, this has been my look at the uh, Jocon exclusive Sky Creeper from the Air Commandos. Um, and that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Not that great of a figure. Um, I hope you guys dug my perspective. You understand where I'm coming from. And as usual, that is it for me. You've been great. Peace outside. Thank you for watching my video. Um, if you enjoyed what you saw, please give it a like, a share, let your friends know. Um, check me out on social media. All the links are in the description. And if you really want to help me out big time, jump on Patreon and support the channel. Every little bit helps, the smallest amount to the largest amount. And last but not least, check out my comic, War of the Gods. Uh, issue 2 is on sale now on uh, Indie Planet. And the links are in the description. It's some superhero fun. And as a smaller independent book, it needs all the views, all the eyes on it as possible. So check it out. Show it to your friends. Every view helps greatly. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. Thanks again.